Hey everyone, welcome to the Collector's Horde. This is my action figure review for the Venompool v BAF. He was part of the Venom movie and Maximum Venom wave of figures. Uh, there was five pieces total, or five figures total to get all the pieces for him. There was a six figure uh, for movie verse Venom uh, that you didn't need to get because nothing came with him. Uh, but, you, you know, a lot of people grabbed him uh, just because. Uh, he was popular, uh, came out. Uh, also, Sideshow announced the six scale version of him as well, uh, roughly around the same time. Uh, so it's nice to see that he's getting some, some exposure and some figures uh, that we otherwise wouldn't uh, imagine seeing. Uh, he comes with two swords uh, and he just um, he's basically a bulked up Deadpool on a Venom uh, body so he does also have uh, two hands uh, that for holding the sword let's see here let's check him out let's see here as BAFs goes, pretty standard. Uh, he's big, he's bulky. Um, his upper body is definitely bigger than his legs. If you look at him, it does look uh, disproportionate. I think that's by design. I don't have the uh, Venom Pool cover or comic, uh, so and I haven't read it, so I'm not really sure if that was his regular design. Uh, he's got the chest, articulation, his arms, uh, they went in pretty easily and have stayed in. Uh, no big deal. They're not stiff or anything. Uh, he's got the, you know, like I said, standard articulation. He's got the chains on him here and here. Uh, his feet. Head is small. A little bit of articulation there. Design-wise, you can see the pattern on his red bits. That's definitely can't like a canvas texture um, and then he's got the stitching onto the black which I assume is him putting clothes and stitching it to his venom body not really sure again like I said I haven't read the comic but lots of little details the Deadpool belt uh, let's see here. The swords are cool. Come out. There, they're just kind of silvery, uh, but and they're not very flimsy. You can see they're straight, but that might also be because they kept them in sheathed. Oops, is this in right? Ooh, there it goes. All right. And his face there. Nice, got the tongue hanging out, purple. And more of the staples right there uh, around his eyeball. Honestly, part of it is, is he looks like he could be um, Oogie Boogie from Nightmare Before Christmas if he was merged with Deadpool and Venom. As far as BAFs goes, I think this is a solid uh, 10 out of 10. I mean, I'm assuming that the disproportionate legs to upper body are by design to go with the comic. Again, I haven't read it, so I'm not sure, but that would make sense. The design and details are great. Uh, the paint apps were really nice, just enough to bring out the little details. Uh, the belt and everything could be used more, but it's just a belt. Uh, it's hardly anything. You'd probably wash it with a dark brown wash or black wash and bring out some more of those details. But that's Venom Pool right there. Uh, leave a comment down below. Did you read the comic? And it's the disproportionate stuff in the comic. Uh, what did you think of the figure? Are you glad we got one? Um, some people I know aren't fans of Venom or Deadpool, so they you know, don't see why they get constant variant covers and everything else. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, also remember to like, subscribe, and share with your friends and in other figure groups and everywhere else. And as always, thank you for watching, and until next time, catch you later.